we are in the cut flower business. Uh, from the cut flower business, we now have started into uh, nursery plants, basically indoor, outdoor. We grow a lot of fruit. Uh, we do a lot of uh, landscaping plants as well. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to speak on orchids. I don't want to make it kind of a, you know a speech thing. Uh, I would prefer that it is uh, more of an interactive session. Because I believe there are a lot of questions you, you people would like to ask me and you know how to grow orchids, uh, they don't flower, they are not growing well and so on and so forth. So just a little basic introduction about orchids. Uh, orchids uh, are basically one of the largest species of uh, plant. They are called orchidaceas. They have more than 25,000 species. So you, you might have seen you know in the wild somewhere, some exotic hilltops, anywhere, everywhere. They grow uh, with different names, but uh, in India and uh, preferably all around the world, we have very limited uh, varieties. The common ones you all know, dendrobiums. Some of them even call the moth. The dendrobiums, the vanda, the mukaras, the cymbidiums, the oncidiums. Uh, these are one of some of the few uh, common orchids grown for flowers. Uh, hobbies as well as on commercial scale. But uh, in India, uh, mostly we have dendrobium orchids, dendrobium and mokara for cut flower as well as uh, hobbies. So uh, I'll cover a few points on uh, orchids like its cultivation, uh, the environment it needs, and most important, the fertigation. And there are some problems uh, with orchids like uh, you know root rot or pest management and uh, some of you a few more points but if you guys have any other things to ask i'll be happy to answer so uh, along with this i will be also uh, sharing a, a little bit of my experience on the potting material the potting is very important for orchids uh, basically they are epiphytic in nature that means they require a host uh, unlike how we grow in the soil you know with the roots no uh, they basically grow on the bark of a tree or probably on uh, coconut uh, husks. Some people grow it in on uh, peat moss also and some people grow it in uh, so many other things. But the uh, most important thing is that we have to understand